Hello, should I welcome back to my channel? So, this question I represent function f of x equal to one by Fourier sine series in the interval zero is less than x is less than y. These are the limits. This is the limit. These are limits. Okay, this is limits means zero to y. Okay, these are the limits. Okay, now we want telling to find the sine series. Sine series means it is the Fourier half range series question. Okay, so first write solution. Then out of what you will do. First, write the statement. The half range, half range sine series, sine series f of x equal to equal to summation n is equal to one into infinity b n sine n s. Okay, sine n x. So I take the equation one. Now we have to find b n. Now b n formula. Now this number bn is equal to 2 by pi integrate. Now limits what is going to 0 to pi. Okay. 0 to pi f of x into sine nx. Okay. So is equal to 2 by pi integrate 0 to pi. What is about the 1? 1 into sine nx. Okay. Now what will do 2 by pi integrate 0 to pi. Now 1 into sine x becomes sine x only. Okay sin x sin nx sorry sin nx sin nx now it is in the form of integrate sin ax sin ax is equal to minus cos ax by ax by a okay so instead of a here given n so it become 2 by pi open a square bracket cos ax here negative minus uh, sorry n n n here a n is going start away n is n into n now 0 to pi okay so, uh, then now I'll, I'll take minus or uh, sign outside then n also should become minus 2 by pi n pi when the bracket cos n x okay now I apply the limits how we apply the limits f b minus f a okay f b minus f a so what is f b f of b is what pi and a is what a a is what zero okay now apply the limits instead of x you have to substitute it so it become minus 2 by n pi open a square bracket cos n pi minus cos zero okay now close the bracket we applied the limit so we are not adding these limits in this bracket now what we will do always remember cos n pi values cos n pi is equal to minus 1 power n and cos 0 is equal to 0 cos 1 cos 0 value is 1 okay not 0 now substitute so it become minus 2 n pi open a square bracket minus 1 power n minus 1 now send this minus sign to this side here it is minus inside this so here plus it so minus into plus become minus here the minus into minus become plus okay so it become 2 by n pi minus into minus 1 power n plus 1 okay now what will i'll take positive sign first then negative sign so it become so our bn is equal to 2 by n pi hmm? 1 minus minus 1 power n okay now always you know when we get the power n as uh, bn value so we have to check even and odd Okay, so right here for sure when n is n is odd, when n is odd, then bn, then bn is equal to 2 by n pi, open the square bracket, 1 minus minus 1 power. Now, always remember, instead of n, you substitute 1, okay? So, always remember, minus, minus 1 power n become minus 1 only, okay? Minus 1 into 1 will become minus 1 only. So, it become 2 by n pi. So here minus into minus will become plus so 1 plus 1 uh, 2 by n pi so 1 plus 1 is 2 so until like this become so it become what it become here 4 by n pi okay this is our bn when n is odd or uh, then write under study when n is odd when n is even not odd when n is even even then bn is equal to bn is equal to 2 by n pi over the square bracket then 1 minus minus 1 power square 
event event will start with two odd start with one okay one three five is odd two three four is two four six are even okay now always remember now minus one square become one only so two by n pi or a bracket one minus one minus one square will become minus one uh, one only so one minus will become zero this also will become so it is zero okay now now what we have to do from equation right understand from equation one from equation one f of x is equal to summation n is equal to one infinity b n sine n x okay sine and now substitute the value here b n here so it becomes summation n is equal to one infinity what is b n value four by n pi four by n pi four by n pi into sine n x now what you do you will take here your four by pi order keeping n order to remove this summation so it become four by pi when the square bracket summation n is equal to one infinity one by n sine and next okay now now remove this summation so we have to substitute a order this why i substitute order we get this v n value when we put the value of odd so it become what will become four by pi open the bracket now instead of and you have to substitute a one three pi still infinity so take three values so it become one by one one sine one x one x plus plus one by three sine three x three x then plus one by five sine five x so okay, till it is infinite so here infinity told no that's why it will infinite okay now close the bracket okay this is our answer okay so take this solution okay these are the steps are involved to solve this question okay this is our answer. thanks for watching